As kayak fishing becomes more and more popular, there are more and more fishing kayaks to choose from. They are also getting more and more expensive. If you are considering buying a fishing kayak, or you already are a kayak fisherman, you may wonder how long your kayak is going to last. In this video, we will take a look at the Hobie Quest fishing kayak and see how it is held up under 10 years of regular fishing use. We started kayak fishing about 1998 after picking up a couple kayaks at a garage sale. Before that, we bungeed milk crates to our longboards we used for surfing. The kayaks were pretty unstable, but they were better than the surfboards. There weren't many kayak fishermen in those days. In early 2005, I got the Hobie Quest fishing kayak. Hobie had just come out with their popular Mirage Drive kayaks, but with my surfing, canoeing, and kayaking background, I went with the simplicity of a paddle kayak. I'd owned a Hobie 16 catamaran and a few Hobie surfboards, and their factory was only a couple miles from my shop, so it was an easy decision to get a Hobie. The Hobie Quest was a big improvement over my old kayak and was faster and much more stable out on the ocean. I would spend 10 hours or more on the water fishing for yellowtail, white sea bass, halibut, and whatever else I could find around the reefs, underwater canyons, and kelp forests of the Pacific Ocean off San Diego County. The kayak was fast and maneuverable in the surf. The kayak weighs about 65 pounds, not too bad for a 13 and a half foot kayak. It's light enough for one person to load and transport on basic vehicle roof racks. The Quest came with a seat and paddle and was pretty much ready to go straight from the factory. I did make some modifications, the first being the kayak's handles. The stock handles did not last very long. I made a stronger handle from PVC and brass rod. These handles are still on the kayak. I let Hobie know about the weak handles and they came out with a stronger version. Hobie has always been very good about listening to user feedback to improve their products. I installed a fish finder and for fishing in the Pacific Ocean a live bait tank. You can buy a live bait tank now but back in 2005 you had to make your own. When going through surf and punching through waves water would leak into the kayak through the front hatch. Adding a couple nylon straps to make the hatch more secure took care of most of the leakage. More recently I added an anchoring system and a rod holder that is used for trolling. I moved to the Columbia River Gorge where the kayak fishing conditions are more challenging than sunny Southern California. No more sandy beaches, just a lot of rocks, dangerous currents, cold water, and a lot of wind. After 10 years of regular fishing use in all types of conditions, how is the Hobie Quest held up? I still use the original paddle and seat that came with the kayak. The seat is a little faded and frayed, and the paddle is rough around the edges and pretty scratched up, but they are still good to go. The mesh over the side pockets got stretched out, so I cut it out. The mesh snagged a lot of fish hooks, so no big loss. The footrests where they rest on the metal supports are fairly worn down. I don't use a rudder. This wear is just from resting my feet on them. The only really bad thing is a crack that is developed in front of the center hatch. It's probably from the thousands of times I've gotten in and out of the kayak seat. It starts at the hatch opening and goes towards a large area of unsupported deck. It's been like this for a couple years. I'll need to fix it before it gets any worse. Mainly due to the rocky conditions here in the Pacific Northwest, the hull has a lot of scratches on it. I try to be as careful as I can, but when you launch and land on nothing but rocks, the hull is going to get scratched. Most of the scratches are pretty small. Some are a little deeper. So far they are only cosmetic. None of the hull scratches leak water into the kayak. 
There are a few deeper scratches that I'm going to have to repair, even if they don't leak. The bow of the kayak hull has taken a bit of a beating from landing on rocks all the time. Along with the other major hull scratches and the crack in the deck, I'll be repairing this bow damage as well. Considering the rocky conditions, despite the scratches, I would say this kayak is extremely durable. It's cold in the winter and the kayak is stored in an unheated garage. In the summer, it sits outside or on the roof racks of my truck. For the past 10 years, the Hobie Quest has proven to be a durable and dependable fishing kayak. It has held up very well without any major problems. I expect to be able to continue to use this kayak for years to come. For more kayak fishing videos, photos, information, and kayak rigging, check out watermanatwork.com.